folks, Tim the Tool Guy here with my last step in the refrigerator upgrade. Okay, um, I've already fixed the hole, the vent hole on top. You can refer to my previous video on how I did that. Today it is covering up this hole. Uh, right now it's just letting in, you know, cold air, hot air. Um, my goal is to still have access to this area, but have it sealed from air and water. First step was to cap off the gas line. I had the gas on, make sure I had no leaks. Did not see any air bubbles. All right, also there's this rubber sealant. I have no idea what it is, but it's like really kind of like silicone. Anyway, this is what was keeping water out of here before. Um, I mean, which if you have a, a normal rain, yeah, it's gonna not gonna really get in. But if you have a like a storm, it's very easy for water to get blown in here and then just soak it into this wood, turn it into mush. You can already see, I and mean, this thing's like a few months old, and already the screws are rusty. Kind of want to cut out a bit here because we're going to stick a half inch piece in here. Okay, got it all cleaned out. Got my piece of wood made. I had to put it in like this and then I'm going to rotate it. That's the only way I could get it because of these clip things. So I had to put it up in here, rotate it in place like that. Okay. That's kind of the frame. I have another piece I'm gonna to cut to cover this hole. And this is just kind of the frame that has something to screw into. I wanted to leave it open so that I could have access to the back of the fridge, uh, you know, to check for moisture, to if, this, if I need to do something to the fridge, if I need to check the gas line, you know, check electrical or whatever. 24 inches wide. 13 and 3 eighths inches this direction. That's the, the outer frame. The cut, well, basically inch and a half on the bottom, inch and a half on the top. Two inches on the left side. Okay, this right side was three and a half. There's the progress. I got the piece of wood screwed in with the uh, little brackets. I had to cut mine off. They were a little bit too long. Um, wood screws to go in the wood. Uh, self tappers to go into the aluminum frame. Then all around, I put some sealant in there. I'm gonna try this stuff. Uh, what is it? Flux paste. And next up, put a little bit of insulation all around it. Half inch plywood, cover that gap. 12 by 19 and three quarters. I want to seal that area nice and tight. So I have a piece of eighth inch high density polyethylene that I got on Amazon. Um, it's textured on one side, smooth on the other. So next to trace it. Trace it out, cut it, and this is gonna be our outer, our outer cover. Okay, next step is to prep the cover. So there are these screws, the plastic surround, there's screws that stick out quite a bit. I don't know, maybe just not even an eighth of an inch, but it pushes the panel out too much. So on the back of the panel, I just used a, a bigger drill bit and just kind of hollowed out a hole that should allow this to sit more flush. Kind of suck some holes to use. I found the screws are gonna be hinge screws black, number nine, one and a half inch. They have black uh, heads on them, a lot like the uh, 
a lot of the stock screws are, are that way. Okay, then we pre-drill all the holes. Full of insulation and foil on the back of the cover. Almost forgot the little foam. All right, screws are in. Final product is done. Ended up putting some extra screws in the corners to hold them nice and tight. So there you go. Thank <laughs> you.